What does woke mean to you? Just uh, the changing of the uh, American language, you know, uh, the words you can say, the words you can't say. Um, I don't see why we need to change the society the way it is. I mean, um, LGBTQ, you know, I mean, I think they're, they're garnering a lot of attention that, that is unwarranted. I mean, they're 1% they're of the proper, uh, population. So why are we reaching out and doing all this for 1% of the population? I, I guess because it's 1% of the population. <laughs> what is woke to you? How would you define it? Woke, um, it's uh, discrimination. It's reverse discrimination, to put it plainly. Everything that seems to be abnormal is trying to be pushed as normal. Such as? Uh, gender issues, um, uh, racial issues, um, I don't know, it's just, it's hard for me to put it into words. Trump has said, I don't want to talk about woke, I don't want to say the word. DeSantis is using it all the time, every, every other word. Where do you stand on it? What does it mean to you? Uh, it, means, uh, it means criticize everything until you control it. It's, it means it's a, it's a critical uh, theory, Marxist critical theory. And, you know, I, I think DeSantis is right about it. I, but I also think that Trump has a good point. Like, there's, there's more important things. Like, as important as the kind of cultural stuff is, I really think the... I really think trying to you know, drain the swamp, quote unquote, restore the economy, restore trust is more important than woke. I think woke is a secondary thing that, you know, people are looking at the gas price, the crime in their town, it's stuff like that is, I think, the biggest issues for most people. Economy-wise, um, everything, everything he promised, he did, and, and we, need, we need it back to continue doing great. Even on the most fundamental levels, he rode the economic coattails of the previous office before being pushed around by the pandemic and his presidential cabinet, which by the way, was overrun with now convicted abusers of the state. I mean, with all of this knowledge, there's no way to even logically think that Donald Trump should be a welcomed force back into foreign relations. And there's no way that this man was in charge more than what he let on and would no doubt be a devastating person to have a seat at that global table. I mean, Jesus Christ, I feel like he's almost provoked World War III more than he's prevented it. Still, this Trump supporter continues to throw her unabashed support behind Donald Trump. And if there is one thing that he did do is deliver on his promise of absolute dysfunction because Trump is ultimately not the savior of the world. He's its downfall. Day one dictator. It, 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 hey, day one dictator. Cause you know what? We gonna drill, baby, drill. Baby. Hey, how many people here? Now, normally I know you probably wouldn't in America, but considering what they've done to this man, how many people here support day one dictator? Yeah. Trump rallies attract the underbelly of society. MAGA morons come from miles around dressed to the hilt in Trump merchandise that's made in China and hopped up on orange Kool-Aid. We have seen some of the dumbest people to ever get in front of a camera during reporter interviews at these rallies. The way that Trump supporters are portrayed depends on who is covering the event. Because you know, because you know who he's going to be. It's not, it's not really a dictator. It's really just giving the people justice for what they deserve, for what they've done to us. Not really to him, but to us. I don't think that his retribution presidency that he's talking about, I don't think it's for him and his family. I really do think it's for us. What, what do you think about that? I 100, I 100% agree. I, and I tell everybody that's why what is going on him has to happen to him first. Because now when he gets back in control, it's game over. And we as the American people, are going to be easier to accept what's going to happen in the next couple of years yeah. because we've seen how they've come after him. Yeah. You know, they can't say that he's, well, I mean, they are saying that he's coming after his political opponents, but literally that's exactly everything they're accusing this man of doing is literally what has been going on yeah. for the last. That's why I have no problem with day one dictator. That's why I have no if, problem with if, it. If a dictator means he's going to drill, baby, drill, I'll sign me up for that dictatorship <laughs> anywhere, baby. And RSBN is a Trump loyal network that hypes up his pathetic rallies and tries to make the Trump faithful look smart while attempting to act like credible journalists.